It's the talk of the town tonight. In fact, the talk of a lot of towns. Everyone in awe of the music at the inauguration yesterday, including the appearance by Beyonce, navigating the high octave obstacle course of the Star Spangled Banner. But tonight, some people have raised questions. Was she singing with help from a tape? ABC's David Wright with the story behind the music. Right down to that dramatic flourish with the earpiece. Her performance was picture perfect, but was she just acting? Earlier today, the Marine Corps band confirmed they were just pretending to play their instruments and said flat out Beyonce was lip syncing. The band spokeswoman told ABC News, we do not know why she decided to go with the pre-recorded music at the last minute. On the platform, her fellow performers, who did their portions live, presumably thought she was singing live too. Let freedom Watch Kelly Clarkson closely here. It's so hard, she mouthed, congratulating Beyonce. There is a precedent. Itzhak Perlman and Yo-Yo Ma played air violin and cello at Obama's first inaugural. It was cold enough that day to snap the string on a Stradivarius. Oh, beautiful. Yesterday was cold enough to worry James Taylor. For amber winds of green. It's always hard for a guitar player to play when it's cold because your hands sort of stiffen up. You know, I was very relieved to have gotten through it without any major train wrecks. Late today, facing a train wreck of bad PR, the Marine Corps Band revised its earlier statement. No one in the Marine Band is in a position to assess whether Beyonce's performance was live or pre-recorded. An inauguration is supposed to be history, not showbiz. And history is rarely perfect. David Wright, ABC News, Los Angeles.